In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the battery on your 2003 to 2006 Infiniti G35. The process takes a few minutes, so stay along with me and I'm going to show you the whole process in super detail. Open the driver's side door. Now once you open the door, right by where the driver's left side foot goes, that's the primary hood release lever, so pull it. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of the logo there, put one finger in there and push it left and the hood opens up. This hood needs a prop rod to get the rod out and we need to put the rod in the slot with the arrow marking it over there. Put the rod in there like that and then let it go. Now once the hood is open, that right there to the right side, that's where the battery is. So first off, get that cover off. Now that's the battery right there. We need to take off that black panel over there and that panel is held on in place by five clips. And for this, you will need a flathead screwdriver to get those clips off. So what you do is you put your finger on the outside part of the clip, use the screwdriver and pop up the middle part, get the middle part out. Sometimes the whole thing comes off. So sometimes just the middle part comes off like this. Now again, put one finger on the clip and pry it out using the screwdriver. And let's repeat the process now for all the other four clips. Once you do that, you can get that black panel off. Now at this point you may be tempted to just go ahead and start taking all the connectors off but don't. We need to take off that other piece off as well because once the piece is off then you can easily get the battery out. So there's one and two clips in total over there which are holding that other panel on in place. Again same process to take the clips out as previous five ones you just took off. Once you do that, let's get that rubber strip off of it. Lift up the panel a little bit and then pull it out towards you. Okay, now you should be able to get it out easily. Once the black panel is off, there are four bolts in total where you need to take off and they're all 10 millimeters. So you can either use a wrench or you can use a socket ratchet combination. So first off, let's go ahead and take off the black wire, the negative terminal. Let's take that off. Once that is off, you need to take off the red terminal over there. That's the positive one. Loosen it and take it off. Now the thing with the positive one though is once you get it off, you sort of want to try and support it with that white connector tab over there. You want to support it with that so that way the whole positive connector is out of the way. And now let's go ahead and loosen up that one nut. Get that nut out all the way. And then once that nut is off, we should be able to lift up the retaining plate, slide it out of the way, and get that other big rod out of the hook. Now, in order to make sure that we don't lose it, put the nut back on the rod. Now, we need to loosen the other nut for the retaining plate. We don't have to get it off all the way. We just need to loosen it a few turns. And then we should be able to just get it out because that gives us enough play. See how it's got a hook end on its end? And once, once I get the battery out, I'll show you exactly what that uh, hook end goes in. Now, let's get the battery out. Be careful, the battery is going to be heavy. So, you want to make sure you don't drop it anywhere. Where the battery sits, that area, it tends to end up collecting a lot of water. So, before you put the new battery back on, see if you can uh, get a piece of rag and soak up all the water there. That's the one hook. And that's the second hook where those two rods go. Now let's get the new battery in. And when you put in the new battery in, make sure it's uh, it's facing you. So the, the two connectors, they're sort of facing you. Uh, you don't want to put it the other way around because then it just won't. And then you'll have to get the battery out and put it back in again. And you don't, you don't want to do it because the battery is heavy. Once the battery is in place, let's get the retaining plate uh, with a short rod. And because we had taken the nut off a few turns, we should have enough play over here to try and get the rod under the hook over there. Just the way I'm doing it in the video. Yeah, once you do that, make sure it's sitting there. Yeah, now you can go ahead and tighten that up with the wrench or the socket ratchet combination. 
either way it works again. So you want to tighten that up. And once you do that, what you want to do is now go ahead and get that other long rod in the nut. Get the nut out. First off, let's get the rod in that hook. Yeah, now the rod is there. Simply put the retaining plate over it. And now let's go ahead and get the nut on it. Just like that. Hand tighten the nut. And then make sure that the retaining plate is positioned over the battery as it is in the video over here. Because the whole point of the retaining plate is to make sure the battery doesn't move around. So hand tighten the nut, tighten it. And once you tighten it, you want to make sure that the battery is not moving around. It's locked and solid in place. So that's the whole point of the retaining plate, to retain the battery. Then get the positive terminal on. Make sure it goes on all the way. Tighten it. Same thing for the negative terminal. Tighten it. And now let's put those panels back on. That's the, the longer panel. See, it's got those four tabs over there. Yeah. So those four, once they go underneath the windshield glass. So the way to get it on is just position it over there. Take your time to position it, align it, make sure it's going under, and now just push it. Yeah, now it's in place. See, there's even an alignment pin over there where those two pieces meet. Yeah, make sure the alignment pin is aligned properly. Now let's put those two clips back on. Now when you're putting the clips on, you want to make sure that the middle part is popped out. It's not all the way in the, in the main part. Put the one part in. Put the one clip on. Put the second clip on. Let's put the rubber seal back on. And now we can put that other black panel on. And it's got its own five clips. So let's put all those five clips back on as well. Make sure it's all aligned. So all the holes are aligned properly. And put the five clips back on. And then after that, we just have to put that other panel back on. And that is pretty much it. Now in order to close the hood, first you need to push the hood a little bit. Get the rod out like that. Put the rod back in its place. Load the hood and then slam it shut. If you like this video, we got a lot more videos made just for your vehicle. So check out the playlist over there. And if you have a friend or family who can benefit from this video, please share with them. Till then, drive safe and thank you for watching.